Hello everyone and welcome back to Imposter Factory. I'm G, and we have followed Linry into her memories. And uh, last time we saw... What's his fuck? Caleb Clark? I forget what this guy's name is. Uh, we saw him and Linry fall in love. And now we have seen uh, the situation where she's at the doctor's house. Ah, uh, yeah. Quincy! This place. Just an ordinary sink. This isn't a time machine. Golden toilet. I'm not in the mood. You're not in the mood to take a shit! Okay. Would you like rice? Wait, you can see me? I don't know, rice bot. No one's asking for rice. Would we go like rice? No, stop it. Okay. Hey. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Yes, they're ready for you upstairs. Right this way. Okay, nobody can see us. This much I do know. Let's look in the couch. Why do I actually miss these guys? Okay. Eh. Up the stairs we go. Eh, there we go. The door is locked. But I'm sort of already inside this door? Eh. Cat time. Door's locked. Okay. Boom. Okay. Direct human to machine in memory interfacing. That's right. Well, interfacing and permuting. They don't have to worry about that. Knowing your area of expertise, we only expect your help with the former. That sounds fascinating, even though it wasn't exactly the job posting. Of course not. But it's better, isn't it? The research you'd be doing here would be far beyond the scope of any other on your list. You understand why it's not on the public posting, don't you? I suppose so, but... Why me? Surely there are more experienced candidates. Well, we've done our background check, and your particular situa- Oh, we could always use some fresh perspective, that's all. And don't sell yourself short. Your paper speaks for itself. Aye, there's no reason for self-doubt. Imposter syndrome is commonplace among talents. Don't let it get to you. Thank you for believing in me. Well then, now that we're past that step... Shall we go sign the NDAs and witness some miracles firsthand? But I already signed NDAs before coming here. Oh, there's always more NDA. NDA and waivers. Waivers? Bureaucracy, you'd better learn to love the paperwork. Hey. Doesn't seem like she's the linery who could see me. I guess this is still some kind of a replay? Human memory... Human machine memory interfacing, huh? And as promised, the prototype. Oh my gosh. 
It's hideous! Do you expect us to invest in a printer from the last century? As Dr. Haynes said, it is only a prototype. Though he does have a taste for rather vintage aesthetics. I'm not the one to judge a book by its cover, but... If this has the quantum computational capabilities that you proclaimed, it's unbelievably small. And I know we've made significant progress on cooling, but to practically eliminate it... No, there's mostly a wired client connected to the computing center. Once the calculation is done, elsewhere. That being said... Even with Stubb's cerebral data, its astounding potential is evident. Allow me to demonstrate. I wish it showed the actual demo before everything froze. Okay, I can't go there. Can I leave? Okay, never mind. Oh! The door is there. Fuck, how did I miss that? <sighs> That's the last box. Told you we get everything here by tonight. Hey, what is it? Are you sure about this? Moving all the way here with me because of my job. You had arrangements back home too, didn't you? Well, yeah, but nothing like this. I mean, the U Haynes Foundation. Whatever you do there, I'm sure it'll be cutting edge. Still. Hey, it's okay. I know how much this means to you. And don't worry, I'm sure I'll figure something out for myself here, too. Thanks, Quince. I'm glad you're here. Of course. Promised I would. Anyhow, let's just settle down and get you some rest. Can't have you sleepwalking on your first day tomorrow. Huh. A good old mattress again. Why does it feel like going from one dorm to another? Hmm, it's kind of cozy if you ask me. Makes me think of camping. You've never really gone camping before, have you? Not exactly. A legendary spare room. It could be anything. It could be a study room. Or a pinball room. With bookcases over there. Or a mini golf room. And finally get a desktop computer over here. Or a throne room. This reminds me. The mansion today, they literally had a golden toilet. Literally. Literally. Wow. Do they really need to sit on gold to take a dump? It's morning already. Okay, how do I look? Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a person attached to your hair bun. And she looks kick-ass. I'll be back by supper. Go on, you're gonna do great. Uh... Do I... 
Do I do I follow? Ah, yeah, I just had to open the door. Fool that I was, I thought the door would open for me. Around a little bit for <gasps> Flu Fox! Wow, is that a real fox? No, it's just a sentient fox tail. Of course it's a real fox. I want to come out. It's a real shy fox. The others have already arrived. Rika waits for you inside. I'll go find her. Thanks. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I have to go this way. It's gone. Where is everybody? Emil said they'd already arrived. They've already gone to the lab. Oh, am I late for the commute? Hey! Not quite. Come aboard. Going down. Oh my god. Welcome to the Uhanes Foundation. This is just one of several branches of our core development centers. As you might guess, it's also one of the most discreet. Wow, this whole place. I knew there was something off about this place. And this robot. I knew it! It was never just a rice cooker, was it? The rice cooker is on the loose again! Hey, get back here! The chef slip it down the shaft again, I swear I'm gonna... It's a rice cooker. Okay. Come, I'll give you a tour. Eh. Oh, interesting. Of course, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you, I'll do my best. Dr. Haynes, are you still there? Excuse me. I'm here. Regarding the contract, it's not in our interest to fund the project without a say on the board. The board is not the only way to have a say, Mr. Armstrong. You should go meet Dr. Yu in the West Wing. She's in charge of your research team. Ah. Ooh. Interesting. Now, the project you'll be working on is only one of several that we're pursuing here. Oops! It's my favorite! RiceBot! Is that for you, RiceBot? Are you still lingering her station? Sure, the facility is in maintenance, but Dr. Clegg is there as we speak. Also, take RiceBot back upstairs, will you? Of course. Interesting. Oh, casual skull. Neato burrito. Okay. There you go. Dr. Louis Clegg should be there. He arrived at residence here a few days earlier. I believe you've already met at the party. I remember. Let's go, Rice Bot. Rice Bot makes rice. Ah, I see. Gotta go do the other thing first. Uh. Yelled. The cafeteria and recreational room. The chef sends meals down the shaft for price a day. Just give them your order. I thought it was strange that there were three chefs here. Okay, this is actually pretty nice. 
I dig it. Here's the residence for on-site collaborators. Things go well, we might invite you for a room here. Thanks, but I've already got a place elsewhere. Interesting. Okay, nothing to do down here. Just like a little dorm room. Oakley dokely. Time to go quest. With this. Nothing. So, fresh doctorate, huh? To be honest, I was surprised when I saw you at the party the other day. But to actually see you here. After you said my paper has been helpful to the project, I'll try my best to apply my findings. Your paper? I've read your paper. No offense, but there's nothing there that you didn't know already. What do you mean? What they had done here, I've deconstructed it. There's no way they had made all this progress without having already known about your findings. After you and her team must have already figured it all out years ago. Years ago? But then, why are their findings not published? Are you serious? This isn't some purist academia spreading knowledge for the betterment of humanity. I'd say money, but the interest groups involved are a lot more complicated than that. Regardless, look. If you're looking to make a difference in the world, this is still the place. It may be a while before the public gets taste, but here... Here's where it all starts. Interesting. When Wenders what they knew, what they found. Human machine interface. Oh, okay. I'm leaving for work. Spending time at work. Spending more time at work. Thank you again for having me here. I'm learning so much already. Fitting in well, I take it. I'll introduce you to the main project on Monday. Do keep the confidentiality in mind. I'll be ready! I'm home! Hey, how was work? Not bad for a first week. I think I'm getting the hang of it. What you making there? Oh, just you wait. For the most amazing carrot cake you'll ever eat! Being so supportive. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a cat? <laughs> Dr. Clegg. Well, I'm pretty sure I found the issue. Mind staying a bit longer to run some tests? Sure, I'm here to help. Oh, wait, no. Louie is Dr. Clegg. Hey, sorry I'm back late. Everything okay? Yeah, there are always issues to fix, but we'll get through it. Of course. They got you. I'll go heat up dinner. More time at the lab. The interface module is still behind schedule, although we are making progress. The investors are expecting a demo. Are you sure it'll be ready by the next visit? Yeah, we'll make it. By the way, have you thought more about the residence offer, Linry? We even have a vacant room ready for you. Everything would surely be easier that way. Oh dear. Sorry I'm so late again, I had to. Oh. So sad. MRI? Spending more time at work. Well, regulations be damned, but progress is progress. Still. You sure you want to demo this next week? Yes, it's an honor, really. Come a long way. I'm glad I could be a part of this.
Shoot, I forgot it was today. What was? Oh. Anniversary? Or birthday? Living at the campus on your own? But we've got this place. You haven't agreed to it yet. But you're seriously thinking about it. I mean, it'd only be for a while. That's what you said about working late. Now it's every night. You know, it's just... We're doing something amazing, Quince. We're so close. This could change the world. This is what I've always wanted to do. Look, I know I haven't been around for us as much as I should. I'm sorry about that. I thought we both knew what I had to do from the start. Didn't you? you? said you understood and that you'd give me a reason to keep going. That you'd bring me the world to see so I can stay and do this. I know it sounds selfish, but I never asked for it. I never would have said yes if I knew it wasn't what you really wanted. Of course I wanted to. I wouldn't still be here if it weren't. It meant what I said, and I've been trying so hard to do just that. It's just... I just thought we'd still be able to have more than just... this. I know I said that I'd bring you the world, but... I guess at some point I still wanted to see the world with you, too. Now it all just feels farther and farther away. This isn't really fair to you, though, is it? I guess I don't know what I was really expecting. I'm sorry. I really can't stay and talk more about this right now. Why are you so late? We're supposed to be presenting our progress to the investors today. But, we'll talk about this later, okay? Yeah. What's happened here? Premise is closed. Are you affiliated? I work here. Lenry! Ow, what's going on? Was that Louis? It didn't work. Investors were already here and we were waiting and... So Louis, he did the demo in your place. They wanted a live test. Did the demo in my place? Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu are still inside talking with the others. They said... Henry, wait! Oh boy. Not great. But what good is a memory interfacing machine if it kills the user? I don't know that for sure. It's just one failed attempt. Well, good luck with more attempts under all the regulations this is going to trigger. We are under the radar. We can get around those. No, you were under the radar. Yeah, and now you're like, totally over it. Either way, if there's a fundamental incompatibility with writing the memories, that surely doesn't bode well for the core of the project. Oh, you bunch are so pessimistic. Aren't you heard of pivoting? Let's not lose our heads over a little setback. Oh, was this a little setback? 
Yeah, what's even the point of memory interfacing if they die in the process? Well... Linry? Wait, Linry! Oh boy. This is a good way for this to turn out. R.I.P. Louie. I follow her out. Talk with her and she walks away from the whole thing. Okay. Oh, okay. She gone. Hey, you're back early. What's wrong? I want to go. You want to go live at the residence? No. I want to go see the world with you. Oh god, they're so cute! What do you say? A little bit better than the Chinese takeout boxes. There we go. Bye, missed the door. Oh, cute. Sorry, I'm not saying much. I'm just, I'm really caught up in this at this point. God, they're so cute! Fucking hell! Okay. We've got everything except for the first memory. we go. And you're dead. Hey, Quince. 
Glad we went on this trip. We'll come back again one day. Henry? Are you alright? Yeah, just a bit airsick from the bumpy flight, I think. Are you sure? I've never seen you get airsick before. I'll give your doctor a call. Let's get you checked, just to be sure. Pregnant? Yes, so it seems. Congratulations. Pardon me, is this not planned? I mean, no, but... But... The doctor, my files... Yes, I know about your condition. Then, can I really still... Honestly, it's a legitimate concern. But how do I put this? Most people have some form of hereditary risk factors to pass on, Linry. Now, if it's something with extreme risk, like Huntington's, deterrence might be called. But with other serious but common types, such as cancer, then it's typically not. Your rare condition, on the other hand. Although also severe, it falls somewhere in between. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not exactly encouraging it, and there are other issues. This is a decision that only you two can make. Oh boy. That's a... that's a tough decision. What are you thinking? Are we really considering this? I don't know, but... We have to make a decision. You did say you wanted a family, right? Yeah, but this is about more than just what I want. I mean, not too long ago I was still preoccupied about my own livelihood. I suppose I've been doing well lately, but still. Maybe we can book some tests. Medical advances have come a long way. They'd only tell us the odds. It'd be a risk either way. Even with all that aside, to become parents at all. What about you, Quince? I mean, would you even want to start family? Honestly? Before my grandmother passed away, she was the only family I had for so long. I can barely remember being together with my parents, but I still remember the feeling. Have our own family. Honestly, it sounds rather nice. But as you said, this is about more than just that. Afraid, Quince. Me too. But it's our decision to bear. For what it's worth, just know that whichever we choose, I'll see it through with you till the end. throw in the proverbial towel. And right there! Yep, there's the heartbeat! Did you say heartbeat? I see it! 
And over here is the arm. We got an arm, Linry! And the other arm. Wow. Comfy shoes for sure, and don't forget your prenatal vitamin. But most importantly, sleep, so you can have something to reminisce about. Okay. Well, we were thinking Tobias, if boy. And Gabrielle, if girl. Oh, those are both lovely names. Yeah, come on, this is wonderful news. Yeah. Take extra good care, okay, Lynn? I will. By the way, you know you can already find out, right? Wait, find out what? Oh. Is she... Is she having cravings? Is that what's happening there? I can't tell. Or is it the baby? No, that's cravings. Well, it looks like... What is it? Yep, it's a boy. Oh, and this one! This will look adorable on little Toby. Looks a little big for a newborn, Mom. Oh, Lynn, we won't have time to shop like this when the time comes. Oh, okay, so he started working while she was pregnant. How's this? Mm-hmm. And this? Mm-hmm. And what about... This! Stop! You're gonna start all the baby! Ready? Here we go. It's a little anticlimactic when we all got spoiled already. I'm not gonna let you miss the chance for a reveal party. Well, at least you're not using a smoke machine. Ah! It's funny because people lit the world on fire. I felt a kick! That was just my stomach growling. Oh, yeah. Maybe dinner first. Wait, was that your stomach too? No. That wasn't... No? That wasn't your stomach! Yep, still being strong in there, the little guy. Seems like... Hmm... What is it? S something wrong with the baby? No, the baby seems fine, it's just... You know, just out of precaution, let me book you a couple extra tests in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. That doesn't bode well. Your childhood home, huh? Yeah, I wanted to take you here for a long time now. If only we lived closer to it. Better late than never. So, is this where you keep your nostalgic treasure? Well, there's always something. Wow, you sure read a lot as a kid. Yeah, I loved to. It made me feel like I lived many different ti lifetimes. It's weird how I can imagine you saying that as a kid with a straight face. Ah. A little prince. Yeah, my dad gave this to me so many years ago. It's strange how, as the years went by, its story meant something different to me. 
Hey, let's bring it back. Maybe we can re-edge Toby one day. Mm-hmm. Toby. Henry? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just... Uh-oh. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. We've ran multiple scans. The development is acute and it seems to be worsening rapidly. Why now of all times? And the baby? The baby appears to be fine, but... What? Well, because we caught this so early, there is time to treat you, Linry. That's good! It's not certain, but the prognosis is decent if we... Start treatment immediately. Wait, start immediately? Is that okay? For the baby? Unfortunately, no. We need to prematurely induce birth before starting treatment. Induce birth? That's too early! I know. We have facilities to try to keep the baby alive in that case, but. A birth this early is often not without lasting complications. If we withhold my treatment until he's ready? Then we'd miss the optimal window to help you. There should be time for the baby to continue development uninterrupted, but for you. Even in the best case, delayed treatment would still result in life-altering impairment. And in the worst case, well... Doctor, we need you in room 5. I'll give you two a moment to think about it. I know it's difficult, but given its nature, you need to make a decision promptly. I'm sorry you have to choose. What were we even thinking? How did we... How did I ever think this would be a good idea? It's my fault. You wouldn't have it if it weren't for me. It's not why I... It was all like a hazy dream, you know? Traveling the world with you, preparing for the baby. This past year, it was all so... normal. I just didn't want to wake up. You should get the treatment. What? I'm saying it so you don't have to. Quincy. I'll do my best to take care of him regardless. But you, it's the only way that you'll even be able to. It's not fair to him. Neither would it be for him to grow up without a mom. That's something we should have thought of way before. You made a mistake, okay? I made a mistake. We can't change the past, but we can still decide from this point on. Vince. I can't lose you. Oh, I was stuck. Early induced birth.
Linry! You're awake! Quince, how are you feeling? I... I feel okay. The procedure went smoothly, Linry. We'll continue with the follow-ups, but so far you're in the clear. The baby? stable right now, but we need to monitor him here for another couple of months. His organs aren't fully developed, and we're keeping him on ventilator. But even then, our help can only go so far. I'm not sure how he'll do as he grows up, but it won't be easy. Do your best to take care of him, okay? Alrighty, and as we approach the end of the data loading question mark, I feel that we approach the end of the story. But for now, I think there's a pretty good place to cut it. So thank you all so much for following my playthrough of Imposter Factory, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now! Thank you.